Who likes this? George W. Bush. Oh my god! I knew he was a bad president, but not this bad. That makes it even worse. Hi. Hi. Tell me what you're doing here today. Well, I am eating president's favorite foods. Yeah. I need you to list off all the presidents that you know. Biden, Trump, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington, um, John Adams, Barack Obama, Andrew Jackson. Bush, Bush II, Roosevelt, Hoover. Do you know any of those presidents' favorite foods? Um, I know that George Washington, I'm pretty sure, liked uh, just fresh fruit. What are your favorite foods? Pizza. Okay, we got some of that today. Are you ready to just try some weird, bizarre foods? Uh, yeah. It smells like hand sanitizer. It looks yucky. Is that a clam? That's close, it is shellfish. I guess that's oyster, and I have no idea what that is. I think these are donut holes. That's a raw oyster. Why are you having me eating raw oysters? It's a delicacy. What do you mean by delicacy? I mean like people love it. They pay so much money for that right there. Oysters and Donut was a favorite of our eighth president, Martin Van Buren. Ever heard of him? I noticed he didn't make your list. First president who was born a US citizen. It's yucky. Oh no. No. <laughs> so it's definitely a change from clams and mussels in the sense that it gives more of like a salty and fresh feel. What'd you think? I liked it. That tastes really rich and good, and that just tastes sweet. I don't want it. No, I'm not having it. <laughs> It looks like a meatball, but more gross. That just looks like plain spaghetti sauce. Okay. With water on it. You sound angry. I'm not angry. I'm disgusted. <laughs> this is a caramel tomato. Ooh, one of my favorite things to eat as a dessert is uh, caramel, so that's very good. Two things that I don't like. Caramel and tomatoes. Uh, favorite food of President Herbert Hoover. Herbert who? 31st president known for his inadequate response to the Great Depression. Well, that was depressing. <laughs> mm, not bad. It is quite sweet. Add on a bit of pepper to add a bit of a spark to it, perhaps some spiciness. It was the soup from our preschool. Yeah. Did you like the soup from your preschool? No. This is just mac and cheese. Oh, that's the first time you've been incorrect today. Is that whipped cream or ice cream? Hmm, interesting guesses. That right there is cottage cheese. Okay, that sounds kind of good. President Richard Nixon liked his cottage cheese with some ketchup. Oh no. Cottage cheese and ketchup. That's ketchup? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can do it first, Malcolm. Okay. Can someone open my water? One, two, three. <laughs> it's more better than the oysters, actually. So cottage cheese and ketchup was a favorite dish of Richard Nixon. Controversial dish for a controversial president. What just happened? Let's just say I have a new least favorite food. What did I tell you would be here? Pizza. There you go. There's your pizza. Is that a burger pizza? <laughs> these stuff I hate. A pickle? I don't like pickle. I don't like any of these things. Mustard, ketchup, pickles, which in fact is my least favorite food, um, and melted cheese. It's the bread for the uh, burgers. I can even see the um, white nuts. Oh, sesame seeds. Is it hot or gross? It's hot. It's disgustingly good. Oh no. Who likes this? George W. Bush. Oh my god! I knew he was a bad president, but not this bad. That makes it even worse.
Was this what was in style in the 1980s? Well, the second one came in the 2000s. I pity people who were alive back then. Both of them are good separate, but to put them together, no thank you. Please take this away. One thing is for sure, presidents had some weird tastes.